Hey, what's up everyone? I'm not going to make this a super long video, but if you have an iPhone 6, an iPhone, iPad, uh, iPod Touch, all that kind of stuff, and you just downloaded the iOS 8, 8.0.1, the newest version, right after a week that uh, Apple announced the iOS 8 uh, OS upgrade, well, I have the fix for you. Well, essentially, it's not fixing the 8.01 update. It's essentially being able to downgrade it to iOS 8, uh, iOS 8. And, you know, why would you downgrade it? Are you afraid you're going to lose things? Well, essentially, you're going to lose basically a lot of your, uh, all your settings for the most part, but you're downgrading the, the the software so that you can get your cell phone back. You can get your, your touch ID back. Once again, I'm not a big fan of that anyway, but this is actually a very, very simple procedure. I did it myself, so I can't fully show you what to do. I'm just going to show you up to the most important part. And then other than that, it literally iTunes tells you uh, what to do. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go into your phone, uh, go into your iPhone and turn off Find My iPhone so that way things can make changes. It's pretty much essential step number one. So uh, open up, let's see if I could do it right here. So open up settings, uh, open up settings and then just scroll down to where it says um, iCloud right down here. I don't know if you could see it. Uh, just click on iCloud and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And where it says find my iPhone, just click that and turn that off. You're going to need to know your Apple ID password so that way you could turn it off and you'll probably receive an email notification. So after that, that's big step number one. Step number two is actually finding out how to download uh, essentially the, uh, the old update. So what you would do is uh, there's this website. I'll leave the link down in the description below where I was able to download the iOS 8 uh uh, software and essentially they have right here the iPhone 6 all you do is click on it So you click on it the thing pops up and says that that's that so once that that actually takes probably about 50, uh, 10 to 15 minutes to download then essentially all you do is as soon so as soon as your download is done, you know open it up and um, Just drag it onto your desktop. So there it is right here So that is my iOS 8, but um, I didn't know how the hell that I can incorporate you know into my phone it's actually pretty easy. So sorry, I have to use half of my uh, my library screen on my iTunes for my iPhone because of just personal reasons on the left side. So essentially, what you do is you start up iTunes, make sure that your phone is connected to your uh, to your computer through USB, and you're going to be right here. So once again, you are restoring your iPhone. You're going to lose a lot of your stuff. You know, so just just be careful about that. And know what you're doing. But essentially, your iPhone right now, if you're doing that, is basically an expensive iPod iPod Touch. So what the main part that a lot of people don't know is uh, to restore the instead of just hitting restore, you know, this says, all right, it must be turned off. Sorry for the quick cut. I actually didn't turn off, turn my iPhone to show you this step. But to get this right here, to get the iOS to work and update with this, you're going to have to hover over the uh, restore from iPhone, click option and uh, click option or alt uh, option for Mac. Alt for PC, and you'll get the desktop right here. So you get the pop-up screen, and all you have to do is choose the uh, the update right here. So click on it and click open, and literally iTunes will walk you through everything. So just do not disconnect this from your computer. Once again, if you're not getting this to work, it will literally tell you as a pop-up that your Find My iPhone is on. So essentially, all you have to do is just install it as a new uh, iPhone. Uh, it will tell. It will. The the scariest part for me was. Uh, so as you're updating it, you know, say you're like your carrier settings, your phone number, and your uh, your serial code of your iPhone. Well, once this started to happen to me, after it's literally automated the process once again, after I just did that step I just showed you, it did everything else for me. But uh, you know, it got to one point to where then it restarted my phone to I guess install the update, and then it said, and then it my phone number actually disappeared. So I got really really freaking nervous. I'm like, well, what what happened there? So as it got back on, probably within five minutes, it said, do you want to, so it got back onto the iTunes screen and you started up as a new iPhone. So everything will happen. You'll see your phone number disappear. It'll come back up and say, do you want to up the, up, update this as a new iPhone or do you want to do from a backup? Well, you don't want to do from a backup because you probably have the wrong, you probably have 8.0.1, the problem. So do it as a new phone and you're literally doing it as it is a new phone. Well, shortly after, you will see a screen. Once again, I wish I showed this to you, but I wanted to make sure that this worked. But, uh, you know, once again, this isn't a, a horrible procedure at all. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. You'll there will be a thing that says, do you want to update carrier settings? So I'm like, well, no, I don't want the freaking I uh, you know, 
8.0.1 again, the update. Well, no, it's just asking you for, you know, I've AT&T. So it grabbed all my AT&T settings, my phone number and everything. And it, that all works. So don't be intimidated when that message comes up. Just accept that message and it'll say, you know, to do that. And then essentially from there, within five to 10 minutes, your iPhone will update. Your, uh, your library will come up like this again. Or if it doesn't pop up, definitely open up iTunes again. And as you see right here, uh, my iOS 8 is update right here. Uh, I do not check for update. There's no point because that'll just put you back to the problem uh, 8.0.1, uh, even though I hear Apple just pulled this. So this is once again, this is before 3 p.m. on Wednesday, September 24th. So essentially, you download the link. It's down below. I have no affiliation with, the, affiliation with the website. I'm just providing that to you. I know it's driving traffic for them, but it helped me out, and I want to help you guys out and just do those steps that I uh, that I said, and your iPhone will be uh, back to normal. I do have service. I made a call. My Wi-Fi works fine. Nothing is corrupted. I just have to go back through, download all my apps again and all that kind of stuff and set everything back up. But hey, I would rather not have an expensive iPod Touch. I'd rather have my iPhone 6. So that's all I got. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Once again, the biggest things are uh, the link for this uh, download for anything that you have, iPad, iPad, iPhone, i whatever, touch, will be down in the description. And essentially, just make sure you uh, turn off Find My iPhone when you start this procedure. And that's about it. Eric Ross the guy with the eye. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Once again, no affiliation to anything here. I This is just me providing you with you you guys with information. So that's all I got. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Have a good day.